नमस्ते टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू द सीरीज एंड पैरेलल सर्किट्स व्हिच वी हैव डिस्कस्ड ऑलरेडी इन द लास्ट वीडियो क्लास hope the problems we have completed is clear for you and in this video i discuss the advantages of parallel circuit over series circuit let us go through the questions page number 216 question number 3 what are the advantages of connecting electrical devices in parallel with the battery instead of connecting them in series we prefer to connect the appliances in parallel why that is the question in the last problem we have discussed that one lamp is connected like this one lamp and another one is a toaster is connected and one water filter is connected the example i am putting here to make the uh, question easy for you this will help you to understand the question more easily okay see here these are the different appliances lamp what uh, toaster and water filter these are of different resistances that we have seen 5 ohms 50 ohms 500 ohms maybe like that and when we are connecting these appliances like this the potential difference across each appliance is the same this is not possible in the case of series circuit the potential difference remains the same for lamp toaster and uh, the water filter each and every appliance that we connect parallel will get the same potential difference which is not possible in the case of series circuit that is one point then see here each appliance has their own resistances according to the resistance they need the current okay in the case of series circuit the same current is flowing through all the appliances but in the case of parallel circuit the current is dividing like this suppose this is the current passing through will be divided like this i1 i2 i3 so according to the resistance they can receive the current that is another advantage of this parallel circuit according to the resistance each appliance need different amount of current which is possible in the case of parallel circuit this is not possible in the case of series circuit the other thing is that suppose if this is failed this is not working the other two will work okay if one is fail to work the other two one will continue to work or two or more how how much appliances you are connecting the other will work if one is not work fail to this is also not possible in the case of series circuit these are the advantages of parallel circuit over cd circuit clear the next one next problem <laughs> we go to the next problem how many how can three resistors of resistances number 4 how can three resistors of resistances 2 ohms 3 ohms and 6 ohms 2 ohms 
थ्री ओम्स एंड सिक्स ओम्स दीज आर द डिफरेंट रेसिस्टेंसेस गिवन कनेक्टेड टू गिव ए टोटल रेसिस्टेंस ऑफ ए फोर ओम्स वी हैव टू गेट ए टोटल रेसिस्टेंस ऑफ फोर ओम्स दैट इज नेट रेसिस्टेंस इज फोर ओम एंड द अदर वन इज वन ओम these are the resistances given and the question is in which way we have to connect these resistances in order to get a resultant resistance of 4 ohm right first boost 4 ohm means more than 2 ohms right we know when the circuits are connected in parallel the net resistance will be the less than that of the lowest value suppose if we we are connecting these two resistors in parallel the net resistance will be less than 3 ohms okay and if we add this one that will get the final answer so to get such a uh, uh, answer for this 4 ohms as the net resistance how we can connect these three resistors is the question suppose we connect 3 ohms and 6 ohms like this in parallel 3 ohm 6 ohm the net resistance will be less than 3 that we know what will be the net resistance 1 by 3 plus 1 by 6 this 6 is the lcm 2 plus 1 3 by 6 or the net resistance is equal to 2 1 by 3 plus 1 by 6 which is equal to 1 by 3 plus 1 by 6 which is equal to 6 as the lcm 2 plus 1 3 by 6 rp is equal to 6 by 3 which is equal to 2 ohms what is the net resistance when they are connected in parallel okay Two ohms. We want to get this four ohms. So how can we connect these two? Two will become in series with this one. So here net resistance is two ohms. That will become in series with this two ohm. Net resistance is in series with the individual resistance two ohm. So the what will be the total resistance? Total resistance is equal to two plus two. That is the net resistance. Total resistance or net resistance? You write net resistance. The best way, which is equal to four ohm, that is to be satisfied. Four ohms. This is how we will get the answer for the first question. Next, we pass on to. In order to get one ohm resistance, how can we connect these three resistors? When we connect these three resistors in series, what happens? Two plus three plus six. That is five plus six. Eleven ohms will get more than the greater uh, resistor. 
and suppose if we connect all the three in parallel what will be the one ohm that is less than two ohms so we have to connect all the three in parallel let us see when we are connecting these three in parallel what happens the resistance can be given by 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 6 right rp 1 by rp is equal to that is equal to 1 by rp is equal to Six LCM three plus two plus one. That is six by six, which is equal to one ohm. That is the required value. So in the second case, we have to connect all the three in parallel. In the first case, these two are in parallel, and the first one in series with the other two. Okay, clear. First of all. When you get this kind of answers, you think where we have to adjust this uh, circuit in order to get lesser value or more value. In the case of net, in the, when we calculating the net resistance. The rest of the questions we can discuss in the next class. Thank you for watching. Like my videos and if you like my videos please subscribe and try to get more videos. Thank you for watching.